All right, guys. So I have this hideous drawing that I've auto created with one of my, uh, you know, macros, and um, I'm pretend like this is maybe something somebody else created. And uh, I'm going to show you how I use uh, tools to actually check this um, and bring it up to the standard. So there's a really nice tool that's I think really underutilized in SolidWorks called the Design Checker. If you go over to the Evaluate tab, um, I think this is in Professional and Premium. It used to be um, I think actually it's maybe in all versions of SOLIDWORKS now, but um, if you go to the evaluate tab here, um, you can see check active document. And I've created my own standards file here and I can show you how to do that in a second, but essentially I'll just say check document. And inside of here, it will have different settings that I've set up to say, hey, these are things that it has to fit, right? It has to be using my, title, my sheet format, has to be using the projection style that I have, um, specific, um, you know, standard like in this case the ANSI standard it needs to be using the inch units you know all these different things you can set up and the one thing that's really nice about it is to fix it all you have to do is hit autocorrect right it'll go and fix everything that it can all right if there's other things that it can't fix by default like overlapping views here right it will highlight it you can even have it generate a report you could save out a report to fix it for you if you wanted to so um it can just save you a ton of time when you're doing this checking or like just trying to fix a uh, drawing that's ugly like this one. Um, but to, to actually create these reports, it's actually really easy to excuse me, the standards file. Um, you can just go up here and you can say build checks. Right. You could use an existing file if you had something you wanted to make the standard file like. You could read in a part, drawing, or assembly, or you can create your new one. So if I went up and said create new standards file. Here you can see there's different levels that you can check or different document types. So if you wanted to check specifically drawing items or part stuff, you know, um, even down to the feature level and sketch level if you wanted to, or, or even like dimension settings. Um, again, they also have like the document level stuff. Like I was checking like the standard that it's based off of the unit system. Um, you can really take advantage of this stuff. This can actually even be built into a PDM workflow if you want to. There's a design checker task or everything that you release goes through there and um, either gets auto-corrected or uh, again kind of creates that report to show you what what didn't uh, fit the standard. So um, hopefully you guys find this useful. I know I don't like checking drawings and I bet you don't either. So check this out. Have a great day.